All right, guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Sherlock and the Beast. Sherlock Holmes suspects his arch enemy, Professor Moriarty, is once again plotting something diabolical. Sherlock's companion, Doctor Watson, suggests Moriarty may be uh, responsible for MI6 recent issues with their uh, supercomputer, the Beast. Shortly after resolving to uh, investigate, Sherlock receives a note from Moriarty boasting about infecting the beast with a virus. He also gives him a clue, an integer. Sherlock determines the key to removing the virus is to find the largest decent number having the number of digits. A decent number has the following properties. Its digits can only be threes or fives. The number of threes it contains is divisible by five. The number of fives it contains is divisible by three. It is the largest such number for its length. So I think uh, the major uh, two properties are this two and three. We have to follow this property. Based on this, we have to arrive at the solution in a greedy way. Moriarty's virus shows a clock counting down to the beast destruction, and the time is running out fast. Your task is to help Sherlock find the key before the beast is destroyed. For example, the numbers five, 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 and uh, five times three and uh, here uh, 6 times 5 are both decent numbers because uh, there are 3 5's and uh, 5 3's in the first and 6 5's in the second. They are the largest values for those length numbers that have proper divisibility of digit occurrences. So we have to get these numbers uh, if you given a length of the total number. So that is our objective. Here we have to print the decent number. I think we don't have to return anything because there is no print statement in the main function also. Now print the decent number for the given length or minus one if a decent number of that length cannot be found. No value, no return value is expected. So if there is a possible value means we have to print those uh, possible value or we have to print minus one. Here we have 20 test cases and the length has gone up to 10 to the power of uh, 5. So it's reasonable but uh, we have to solve it in a semi brute force way. So I'm going to solve it in that. There is also a mathematical solution to this. We have to find some pattern and uh, get the result. But I'm going to go with the semi brute force way. Uh, that's how uh, many people uh, usually do that. So it's not like uh, equal to n, it will be less than n. You can also consider as uh, log n time complexity for this uh, semi brute force way. Now here we have few number of test cases, 1, 3, 5, 11. So for 1, no number is uh, forming, so it will be minus 1. And for 3, we can have 3 5s. And for 5, we have 5 3s. And for 11, we can have 6 5s and uh, 5 3s like this we can able to uh, get those uh, integers now let's solve the problem first i'm going to store this uh, n into some temporary variable m so we are going to do some manipulation to this m based on that uh, we will display the result so for this i'm going to use a while loop while m modulus 3 not equals 0 we will decrement m by 5 m by 5 so let's consider uh, this example 11 so in 11 uh, 11 modulus 3 is uh, 2 so it's not equal we will uh, negate m by 5 and again we will have uh, m as 6 so when m as 6 means it is equal to 0, we will go to the next condition. As you can able to see in the result, when we are negating it by 5, we have already got our uh, number of 3's. And uh, in these 5's, the remaining m is 6. So it, the total length of 5's will be 6. I will just uh, consider the whole logic. Maybe after that I will go with an example. So if m is less than 0, less than 0 means I will print minus 1. That is the number is not possible. Else print. First I am going to display the 5's. 
so 5 I will just display it as uh, a string so 5 multiplies m comma 3 multiplies here I will say n minus m that is the difference and we can have our argument like separator if you didn't use the operator means there will be some space in between these two things if you use this means it will be concatenated to each other so now let's uh, go through this logic I will consider uh, 11 as n now in the first case initially 11 is m I am going to uh, use the while loop to iterate so m modulus uh, 3 is 2 that is not equal to uh, 0 so m will be 6 m will be 6 and it is uh, negated by 5 so 6 modulus uh, 3 is uh, 0 so we will go to the next condition so this condition is not satisfied because it is uh, greater than 0 and here we can able to see the number of uh, fives should be divisible by 3 so I will say 5 6 times so I am just uh, multiplying it by m and the remaining number will be n minus m n minus m is uh, 11 minus uh, 6 that is 5 so it will be 3 fives so the total length of 3 is divisible by 5 and the total length of 5 is divisible by 3 that's the condition they have mentioned here and uh, using the separator the value will be containing no space so this is the result for us that's how we are arriving at that logic now let's consider this example 1 m modulus 3 is uh, 1 that is not equal to 0 if you negate it by 5 means it will be less than 0 that's why it's minus 1 so that is for this case and for another case 3 3 modulus 3 is uh, 0 so it will directly go to this condition so it is not equal to 1 there will be only 5's only because uh, we will have the total length is 3 right so 5 into 3 and if you say n minus m that is 3 minus 3 is 0 so no there will be no 3's similarly we are having uh, for 5 also we will do the same operation and you can able to track this let's run the code once as you can able to see it passed the sample test case so it's good to go let's submit the code also as I already explained the overview yes we have successfully solved the problem if you have any other logic other than this means please leave a comment below it will be very helpful for others and I already mentioned there is a mathematical formula to solve this problem maybe you can mention that formula in the comment if you can able to find that Apart from that, if this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. I will see you guys in the next video.